morning everybody and welcome to our thank craft it's friday and what a special friday we have got for you today but before we go any further let me introduce who we've got with us today over in our producers uh what is she producer pad we have the wonderful Gemma. Good morning. morning Gemma. and over in demonstration station we have the wonderful rebecca Mong. good morning everyone thank craft it's friday we've made it we've made it we're here it's been a long week this week hasn't it it's not often we get to the 73rd of january <laughs> but we're, we're here so are you excited for today's show i am this Got is a great something one something really fun coming up but before we show you what it is let's get into our winnick weekly <laughs> So, as you have probably seen throughout the week, we are giving away to five of you very, very lucky people this week our beautiful Forever Florals Lavender Luxury Topper Collection worth a whopping $19.99. You've seen it this week. This is our beautiful um, Forever Florals printed onto our gorgeous matastic cardstock. It's got all that beautiful lavender outwork, uh, artwork throughout with that beautiful luxury gold foiling. And eight of you, uh, not eight of you, five of you could oh. win this gorgeous topper set this week that contains eight foiled die cut topper sets, eight foiled and eight plain card stocks. What an absolute wonderful prize. All you have to do, if you've not all done it already, but do it again just to make sure, is like, share and comment the answer to this question. Which animal cannot stick out its tongue? Is it A, crocodile, B, woodpecker, or C, a zebra? Ooh. I think I've figured it out. Yeah, I know. I think I have to. It's without a, without cheating. Yeah, I think without I've cheating. A, I've figured it out. I so, think as well, we're giving it away today. So know, you need to today, get those answers we in. Do. Yeah, you do. Good day today, isn't it? We love our Fridays. We do. For everything we give away. So, what is our show all about today? It is about a new, beautiful concert card kit home sweet home so excited so what have we got for you i'm going to show you it all packaged up to start off with so you get an idea have we got an idea of et oh well, well we? this will help So before I go any further, I am just going to show you one all made up so you can see exactly the kind of thing that you can make with this, this beautiful, beautiful card that stands up, that little house front there, absolutely gorgeous. Because it's much easier to visualise when you see it like I this than when so. it's put in just the sheets of paper. So what you are going to get in this beautiful kit, it's going to make you 12 complete cards featuring six designs, two of each. So as always with our uh, concept card kits, you are going to get absolute full picture instructions for you to follow there that just make it easy peasy. But I'm sure Rebecca is going to show you one oh, yeah, today we are. at least. So look, so you've got them. And then we're going to start with, I'm going to pull this back, you get your bases. So you get two on each sheet that look a little bit strange on there, but when you pop them out, they're going to fold up and make these beautiful bases for your card. As always with our concept set kits, they are double-sided. So no matter what angle you look at them from, you're going to get these beautiful, beautiful designs. So there's two more here. I love that as well. Like, yeah, you're just completely covered. And even if you want to do them a little bit quirky, you've just got no white space to be worrying about or like covering up. No, and you know us, you know with our concept kits, we love chopping into them and doing lots of different things with them and having these 
all around designs, no white spaces. It just makes it so much more. So you get two of each of those sheets. And then you are going to get like your backgrounds that you're going to add on to make that first layer of your card there. And then all these wonderful sentiments oh, up the top. Oh, so cute. So you're going to get all these sentiments up the top here. These little ones down the bottom that are originally designed to like work as your stoppers. But obviously, if you're making them into different things, you can use them in lots of different places. So there's three on that sheet. And of course, you get two of them. And then the other three on here. So you've already getting some ideas of all the different kind of houses that you can make up. There's like uh, beach houses and green houses, almost like pretty dolls houses. They're Again, so all fun. those gorgeous, beautiful patterns on the back, even on the sentiments. So if you're thinking, I don't need that sentiment for anything, but I could really do with a fun pop of colour, you've got something to play with there. Yeah, 100%. And then the finishing touches to turn our houses into homes, we have our element sheets with these gorgeous, gorgeous little bits and pieces on here, all with that gorgeous accent gold foiling onto Ooh. 300 GSM cardstock. Just, it's just that slightly lighter weight, your embellishment sheets, just so they're easier to pop out and and manipulate and put yep. them where you want to yeah absolutely oh and you've but got everything and you can obviously mix and match of course them as well. you can mix and match but let's have a look what we've got in there we've got a bicycle obviously we've got our doors you've got your little table set your white picket fence oh. those beautiful roof toppers the windows the lawnmower absolutely gorgeous so that's two of them and then finally we have this gorgeous sheet here Oh, these have got all the kids' toppers on, haven't yeah, they? look at them. Look at that beautiful red door. That beautiful uh, blue roof line in there. Absolutely gorgeous. The scooter, the bike. No, sorry, the scooter, the kite, the little chalkboard, the basketball set. So cute. Absolutely gorgeous. The teddies down here. The watering can, the vegetables. And obviously, you can mix and match these up any way you want to. So that's the last this one so let's just show you how these are all made up as is so to start off with we have got this beautiful almost kids houses in it this family oh, yeah. have definitely got kids so on here i'm going to come as close as i can we've got that beautiful scooter the football you can see how it folds up there but it's going to lie perfectly flat to fit into your envelope which you also get you get your 12 envelopes to go along size that are exactly the right size to fit in there and you fold them up perfect and but then just look at the back this is what i was on about before look how gorgeous that is just mirroring that image from the front now it's also going to help you give you the inspiration to I layer up so. your designs if yeah. you're a little bit unsure but look at that absolutely gorgeous so that is that one a uh, little traditional uh this is the most traditional, isn't it? That I we've think got there. so. And I love it as well. You know, you get those big sash windows, that Georgian front door. That's the kind of house that like I just dream about living in. With that beautiful sentiment, home sweet home on the bottom there. We have got our garden shed. Oh. I love, look, I don't know if you can pick it up there. Look at those little beers stacked up in the wheelbarrow. That's the best use of a wheelbarrow, in my opinion. I think this is the one we're gonna do, Kat. Is it? Yeah. I think so. It's so, so cute. That beautiful blue stripe in there, stunning. And then from our shed to our greenhouse. So you could pair these two together. Yeah. Brilliant. They're almost 100%. like a his and hers. You could do something really, really cute with these. Yeah, absolutely. You can pair the, like, the sort of girls and boys playhouses together. Yes. Um, yeah, they're just going to be so, so much fun when you get them home. Oh. <laughs> this one's so Every sweet. woman needs one of these, a little crafty shed. We like the idea of this. I love Our that. little craft hut. Yeah, you get the sewing machine with that one, the little box of crafty tools. It's so cute. So, so cute. I'd love a crafty hut like that. And last but not least, look, I'm just going to point this out. Oh. Look at this beautiful little crown topper on the top there that <laughs> says princess. How absolutely gorgeous is that? And of course, you're building these dimensions up with your foam pads to really, really give it that three-dimensional look. 
so, so cute. And I love that there's like a really little clever fold in the base here that almost makes you stop her for you as well, it doesn't does, it? It does, yeah. It's really, really cute. So that is what we are bringing you today. So let me just go through the prices with you. So our Home Sweet Home concept card kit that makes 12 complete cards features two, two of each of six designs. It's yours today for $14.99. But we don't want you to pay $14.99. We want you to be at least a member and pay $14.24. Of course. Or even better, if you're a member of our Diamond Club, you are paying for this today $13.49. Wow. Which is just a smidge over one pound a card, really, which, isn't it? When they're this incredible and you've Absolutely. got this much dimension. There's so much fun. There's nothing like this in the shop, so just isn't. No, no, no. There's no supermarket or even dedicated card store you are walking into that's going to have anything like this for you. So, would you like to show us, Rebecca, how I we make one up? I certainly would, because they're really quite straightforward. Okay, so let's get the bits and pieces that we need. So, we're going to get our card bases. Each um, one on the header has what it is. So, we've got card bases, card fronts, and we've got elements. And they're all numbered as well. So, you'll see card bases one, card fronts one, elements one. If you want to use them the way that they've been put together. Um, so as you can see um, by the gapping great big hole in here, they're all die cut for you, ready to just press out the sheet. So we'll just do this one here. Just going to sort of gently coax that out the sheet, just like so, and then it's all ready for you. It's all been scored for you as well, so you know exactly where you're going with it. So let's make the base up first. We're going to kind of fold all of these score lines. Just give them a nice kind of good bend. I'm not going to burnish them yet um, until we're happy with the sort of shape. And then what we're going to do is this piece just pinches together just like so to make us a little lip. And that's Very what you were clever, talking about, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. ready-made stopper for you. And then we're going to keep this little bit of grass but bend this one back. So like I say, just going to keep keep that nice and pinched and I think at this point I will burnish those so it's super super easy and fun and like I say I'll just burnish that so that stays kind of put where I want it okay and then we're going to turn around and go in with our tape and start taping things down um, now it's got exactly where you need to tape on the instructions um, Kat, do you have the little instruction slip for I me? I do yes not that I need it I just thought it'd be really handy to show you guys it's even got exactly where you need to lay the tape and which score it is. It's so, so easy. It just could not be more straightforward. So it says we need to put um, one piece on here. And I'm going in with our high tack tape, our absolute trusty adhesive for all of our concept cards. So add three strips of tie high tack tape um, along the bottom edge, just below the first score line, which will be here. And then between the second and third score line. So that is just around about here. So I'm just going in red line of tape all the way for that lovely high tack. And then I'm gonna go in next and start taking this off. So I'm gonna stick my sort of lisp lip together first of all. So that's nice and secure. And then I'm going to just take these pieces as well. So just really nice and easily with my sort of pokey tool on my three in one die brush. And then leaving that at the front and then just sort of securing that down and then bending that one back. So it sort of makes this kind of almost like a reverse easel sort of concept. So that's our base all ready to go. I'm gonna, again, just burnish a couple of these scores just to get them nice and proud. And then what we do, so that's our base ready done in what, a minute, not even yeah. that. Um, so then next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our card front. Now I know it is this one because the patterns on the back, like you say, you coordinate really easily. Yes. So we already know I want the one with the sort of blue pinstripe. So I'm gonna take that one straight out. I'm gonna adhere that to the front of our card. Now we don't want glue anywhere near the bottom of our house because there's nowhere that'll just stick all over the place where we don't want. 
um, and that's just not going to be ideal. So we're going to go straight onto the base here and we're going to pop our adhesive onto here. You can probably switch this out at this point to some double sided tape or construction glue, but I'm just still going to use my red tape because it's, you know, to hand. So let's just pop our sort of three pieces on there. Um, like I say, I'm not going right to the top of the roof, but because it is so strong, it'll stick it all the way. Um, so obviously going straight onto here as well does mean that I don't have to like do a little pencil line on my house or remember where I can put my tape. I just know that it's going to stick perfectly onto here. So I'm just going to grab my house, line it up on there and then give that a little press. Okay, perfect. So at that point, that sort of lines up there and then it's kind of stopped just by my little kind of easel there. Okay, so this is the fun part, guys. This is where <laughs> we start embellishing it and having loads of fun. So again, I'm gonna go to my element sheet here um, and take off all my pieces. Now, a bit like when we do decollage, whenever we have little bits and pieces to put on with foam pads, we do always do this ahead of time. So as you can see, I've started putting foam pads on my sheet ahead of time but you can certainly do this as you're going along. So we're gonna pop our roof on first, which is this lovely, um, this is gonna make our sort of like man cave garden shed. Um, it's got all our tools in, um, so, so perfect for like a dad card. We're gonna put the door on next and obviously there's no, it doesn't have to be on the left or the right. It can be in the middle, wherever you want. It can be your home. And I think these houses as well, they're just, they're going to be so great. I mean, obviously, I think we always think of them for new homes themselves, but these are great for like Father's Day, Dad's birthday, your other half's birthday. You know, these are just going to come in so, so handy. We're next going to take our little grass and we're going to just put that straight onto our little um, step that we've created. So I'm going to go in with some really nice, thin, um, double-sided tape to pop that on. And again, that's just going to embellish that step a little bit more. So that's just going to just hang nicely on there. Give that a good press. And all these embellishments are detailed with that gold accent foil that really start to make it pop and come to life. Oh, 100%. They? Yeah, definitely. I'm just going to smidge my door over a little bit pop my window sort of in line with that and then let's start getting some further embellishments like I say I think we do need that um, wonderful lawnmower let's get our fence as well and see how that kind of looks yep we'll get our fence so again I'm just going to get some foam pads and this is where when you start layering up the dimension you pop in foam pads only where you need them so I'm not going to raise it above this door because it's already got some on um, but I'm going to go in with my little circular ones and just put a couple on here and that should hold it really nicely. Going in with my skinny strip here and then just pop in that one on the side here. Oh, do you know the backing doesn't want... Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to get my little kind of brown fence just on here and smidge this foam pad down a bit. get another one it's no problem let's pop that a bit further to the bottom there we go so even though you're getting 12 uh, six of each design two of each in the set effectively you can make 12 different ones can't you by I mixing so. matching all those different bits and pieces i think it's completely so. up to you how you want to do it and we really have covered everyone with this we've covered you know, crafters, non-crafters, gardeners, kids, um, like you say, couples with those, like, you know, maybe their first home together. Um, yeah, we really have just sort of, everyone's just gonna have such, such fun with this kit. Wouldn't it be really Squeeze cute for the kids, down. like with the kids ones, if you just do the base yeah. and then give them like the elements to go with it and say, okay, you decorate your own house up. Absolutely. That would be really, really cute. And, uh, you know, it is half term coming up. It's always a really good rainy day activity to like do a little bit of crafting. 
Um, I'm going to try, and I've, I think I've got a copy. Whoever idea was to put those beers in the wheelbarrow, I am copying because <laughs> I just think that is just so much fun. So let's get those in our wheelbarrow. And Lots of love for these on Facebook today. Lots of gremlins popping them in people's baskets again. Oh, aren't they naughty? Very, very naughty. <laughs> Let's put our do not disturb sign, because I think that's the sign of a happy man cave is no one there. <laughs> no company in the man cave. I don't Let's know. I think some women caves would crave that as well. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, so let's pop that sign just on the door here, just above these tools. There we go. And then I think it might be a little bit of a squeeze to pop that deck chair in. So let's leave that one out. And then as well, I'm going to go back to my card front and find those matching little pieces. And I'm going to take my sentiments out. So I'm going to have on your special day, which has got that leafy detail to tie in with that roof. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, we're going to pop that on with a foam pad as well. So we'll just take one of our trusty foam pad strips. Pop that on the bottom. I absolutely love this one. It's so, so fun. Um, so on your special day. And then let's just put one more in for good measure. So we have, in fact, let's just put two on. Why not? So we've got Handmade with Love. We're going to pop that one on the back. And to the man in my life. And I love that as well because that could be anyone, couldn't it? Like I could give that to my dad or my husband, to the man in my life. Yes. I absolutely love that. It just makes it even more universal. Um, I know there's one that says to a lovely lady as well, which is just great. So just giving that that bigger, bigger sort of sense of appeal. So we're going to pop that one just on there. So again, let's pop that foam pad. Again, these circles are just going to be your best friend for these because you can just squeeze everything in. And again, let me just get that back in off. There we go. So I'm going to pop that one there. And then let's turn it round and pop our handmade with love one on as well. So again, um, just going to go in with something slightly bigger on there because we've got a bit more room. And then at this point, if you've got any ribbons, twine, diamantes, gemstones, anything like that. So we're going to just put that handmade with love one on the back there just so you can see it. Um, but how easy is that to just whip that up? And we've got our fun little man cave garden shed there with all that, oh, that foiling is just beautiful. It's so deceptive, isn't it? Because the amount of work that looks like that has gone into it. Oh, definitely. A lot of that has already been done for you, which yep. is absolutely fabulous. 100%. And you can pop a little um, message on this circle's almost like a dedicated space for a little message or um, anything extra that you want to pop on there as well. Absolutely great. So, you know us, we love our concept card kits and we love them even more because there is so much more you can do with them. So in this part of the show, we're going to be showing you some items that we think work perfectly with them so you can extend them into different kinds of cards. So first up for you, we have our adorable, scorable seasonal selection for spring. It's quite so a lot of alliteration it is there, isn't there? <laughs> So this is going to contain 48 sheets featuring 16 designs uh, and you get three of each and in here you get this beautiful array of lots of different spring themed designs. So you've got this one here with a beautiful art, lacy uh, heart and lacy detail, very, got that kind of craft feel to it Oh it does, well. definitely. Great for Valentine's Day, spring weddings, absolutely stunning. Then you jump to these beautiful, luscious green leaves. There's, I mean, this one's just going to work absolutely perfect with those houses, isn't it? Like your green house oh, and things like definitely. that. Definitely. I'm absolutely pretty stunning. sure Pauline did her demo like with the greenhouse with that one. And like you say, it's just a match made in heaven. heaven. Even that one, you, you, you're thinking the same ideas again, aren't you? Absolutely. And then we've got this beautiful one with like the gorgeous wildflowers that are hopefully going to start seeing soon in our hedgerows, bringing in those beautiful butterflies. What a lovely burst of colour in that one there on that really light cream background again we know how much you all love your honeybees out there Aww. this beautiful honey background all that beautiful shading going on that looks so much like real honeycomb and those gorgeous little bees throughout and then this one the beautiful 
craft car background with that beautiful confetti effect. I had so much fun showing this one off the other week. There's so many things you can do with that. Then to your musical notes, I'm going to have to turn this the right way up because that's just... <laughs> Again, this one is going to take you all throughout the year, isn't Definitely. it? Definitely. There is so many things. You know, hunky-dory, past collections, and no doubt future collections, so many things that will work with this beautiful cardstock here. And again, well, it's the same Ooh. with all of them. I could repeat myself over and over. This beautiful Argyle print there. Great for your men's cards. Oh, definitely. So, so stunning. Those beautiful tonal greens in there. Absolutely stunning. I love this effect. Very kind of pre Parisian chic, Definitely. isn't it? That kind of wood grain effect in the background with these beautiful, like it looks a bit like the um, traditional decoupage where you cut yes. out the flowers and stick them on. Absolutely stunning effect there, but obviously all the hard work already done for you. Then this beautiful oh. navy blue with all those different pops of daisies on there. Absolutely stunning. This beautiful blue stripe, but a little bit more contemporary. The different shades and the different light layers, almost like torn edges going through there. This be oh, I keep saying this beautiful, but every they, single every piece single one is. is stunning. We now have this gorgeous kind of wispy cloud effect, almost cartoon like, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I'm sure there's some way you could work that into waves and stuff as well if you are clever, Ooh, yeah. which I know you all are. And this gorgeous vibrant orange and yellows and light pink tones in all those florals there They're so many things photographic those florals it aren't, is, they? aren't they and they're really really popping off the cardstock there again these beautiful geometric pastel shapes very very fun then this gorgeous purple leopard print Ooh, come yeah. on I that need that making into an item of clothing. Look at it. So Stunning. gorgeous. It's almost got like a little metallic effect on there as well, the way that the pinks and purples yeah, are shaded. Look at it. Yeah, definitely. And this gorgeous check pattern with those beautiful teal greens and purples and pinks and that little pop of honey mustard there as well. Absolutely stunning. And last but not least, this gorgeous pink marble effect absolutely crazy and here i'm just showing you one sheet of each you are be going to be getting three of each um when you get this home so again if you are just buying this and you are not a member of a club first of all what are you doing but never mind it is 14.99 <laughs> if you are a member then you are going to be paying 14.24 for 48 sheets that's incredible incredible of adorable scoreable yeah, as well absolutely that works just like all our other adorable scorable folds beautifully score it fold it make boxes from it everything you love to do if you are a diamond member you are going to be paying the absolutely epic price of 13.49 yeah it's That's really worth buying that as well because it is our core spring one you'll see it in loads of our makes over the next few months won't you and yeah. you can just go to that for you know you could almost like say an occasion and pick out a piece of cardstock for it like like you say with that wedding one and then you could look at it again and be like oh i've got a new baby card to make and pick out another one it's just going to carry you through isn't it it is oh i love it love, amazing. Love, love it so next up to go with that that works perfectly with our houses and with our adorable scorable that we've just shown you is our adorable scorable foiled edge to edge seasonal selection spring no yes it is it's the foiled one isn't it this is throwing so many words at me today Gemma so it's, this it's one a big show <laughs> contains 32 sheets featuring 16 designs all foiled edge to edge we've got an arrange of our adorable scorable colors and they are foiled with gold and silver so on this one, we have got our beautiful champagne glasses in the gold. And then we've got them on like this cool gray with the silver. Beautiful floral reflect with the blue and the silver there. And then the green and the gold. This beautiful stripe. I absolutely love this, like this dashed stripe pattern. The green and the gold there. And then this has got to be one of my all time favorites this grey and this silver 
stunning cupcakes. Oh, they look so cute. Just want to get in and fussy cut all them out. There is so much you could do with it there with the silver and then with the pink and the gold. Valentine's Day. Come Immediately. On. It's just around the corner. It's screaming for you guys. The beautiful red and gold classic there with your hearts, but works just as effectively in the pink and the silver here. Then we've got the pink and the gold bows and confetti. Great for wedding cards or any kind of celebration. The blues and the silver. And then this ditzy floral pattern. Look, those cute little Brilliant. roses. It looks amazing. Doesn't it? And with that lavender and the silver. And then we've got like this peachy colour with the gold here. Absolutely stunning. 32 sheets you're going to be getting throughout that. And then we've got our like damask print here with that more hot pink and the gold. And then we've got the lavender with the silver. And you can just see how much foiling is on here with how reflective that it is that you're still picking up what you can kind of reflect it the yeah. image reflecting back in the thing definitely so you can see how much foiling you're getting on and gold and purple butterflies your pink and your silver butterflies and these have been designed so you can mix and match these foils throughout so your colors with your silver and your gold foil will work together we all need a foil dotty card stock in our collection, I don't we? So. I think so. 100%. Really versatile patterns in this. So that's with the silver and that swirly pattern. And then the gold there. Wow, just keeps going, doesn't Ooh. it? Again, the Argyle print, mix and match this with what we saw in our spring selection. I'm sure, especially this one that's coming up next with the green and the gold is going to work with that one that we saw perfectly before yeah 100 percent. an orange stripe i mean come on classic gorgeous and then in this like really deep plummy purple with the silver i love this one so versatile isn't yeah it? oh and who doesn't love a script <sighs> we just keep going and going that caramel color there and then this beautiful green with the silver and then our beautiful stars, the blue with the silver, and the yellow with the gold. This beautiful kind of cross pattern with those, like where it meets in the crosses, is those beautiful, like little flower details. The purple and the gold there. And then last but not least, it's there again with the silver. And I'm really happy because Gemma's making all my pricing really easy for me today. Yay! This follows exactly the same structure. So if you are not a club member, you are going to be paying $14.99 for these 32 sheets. If you are a club member, you're going to be paying $14.24. And if you are a Diamond Club member, you are going to be paying the incredible $13.49 for those gorgeous sheets. But we haven't finished yet. You need something to put in your side your card when you make it, don't you? Oh, no, 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 I've not even got up to that. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, my word, so much. We've also got our stunning, adorable, scorable core colourways collection. So this is 30 sheets of our newest adorable, scorable colours for you. Look at these. So these are going to pick up on all the colours that you've just seen in the foiled ones before. So they were a perfect combination yep. to go with it, aren't they? Yeah, so definitely. I don't know the colour names yet. I've not had long enough in the year. I learned them about a week before we we changed them. So uh, I learned my favourites first, and then <laughs> and then I try and squeeze all that. That one's violet. Okay, we'll do that. Tangerine. Um, tangerine. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Aqua. Charcoal. Charcoal. We know that one. White, cotton white. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! oh this is where I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. thrown off now. It's a beautiful brown colour, like a proper chocolatey brown, it is. isn't it? A milk it really is. Brown. Here is that beautiful colour that we saw with the silver stripes before. Oh, that one's mauve. Mauve. Love yeah, that's that what one. I would have, would have gone for. Um, I know this one. This is my absolute all-time favourite. That is, is that is bubblegum. <laughs> bubblegum pink. Absolutely beautiful. Come on. Uh, hot pink. 
Uh, baby, baby pink. pink. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is. Uh, is it purpley? Yeah, Heather. Heather. Yeah. Gorgeous. The team do so well. I want to say that's dove grey. Dove grey. Is this like smooth caramel or something like yeah, that? Very, yeah, I'm not too sure on that one. Stunning, stunning colour. We've not got to my favourite yet this time. We've got this beautiful pale green. This oh. beautiful yellow sunshine. That, that's that, daffodil. Daffodil. Yeah. I was just dis trying to describe it. I wasn't giving the name. Another gorgeous grey tone in there for you. Aren't they just a lovely colour palette this time? Yeah, absolutely. And they work so well together. This absolutely stunning green. This is my favourite this time. <gasps> yes. This and I did learn it for Hobby Maker and I forgot. Is it Hunter Green? Hunter Green. Oh, she's on fire, guys. Absolutely gorgeous colour there. Oh, we've gone a bit blurry. No, we're back. We're back. <laughs> this beautiful Hunter Green followed by this paler one I and mean, just look how beautiful they work together aren't they i mean absolutely you can mix and match these stunning. like an absolute dream and that beautiful baby blue pale blue yeah baby blue mm. and then that one's your sky sky blue Ooh, then we're getting, we're getting some bright yes, car we are but 30 different colors that all work so well together then a more just like your the when you think of blue when somebody says blue this is the blue that pops absolutely to mind, isn't that one it? makes me think of like you know the children's playhouse the yeah. primary colors we've got yeah. a, like tealy green here tealy bluey green another absolute stunner a good classic it'll have a proper name but a good classic cream in there for you You've just got one for everything, this haven't you? Absolutely stunning. This would make a beautiful lipstick shade. That kind of blushy pink colour. Another pale pink for you there. Ooh. And then going down to our reds. A lovely classic red there. And then to your like kind of burgundy red. Absolutely stunning. So for 30 sheets of the new adorable scorable collection you are wow you are paying 9.99 i know which is incredible when you think about the quality of it it is amazing if you are a club member you are paying 9.49 and if you are a diamond club member you can get this in <laughs> your basket for 8.99 absolutely incredible but who just wants one sheet you d exactly you who can't wants just, one sheet you can't when just you have, can one. have two sheets and you can double this up and get our 60 pack and this is how it works you take one pack you take another pack and you get 60 sheets Woo! and for this you can get this today for a whopping four well not a whopping an incredible 14.99 so you're wow. only paying an extra fiver for double for double what a bargain look at that how much you get you're almost getting so that's all your extra cardstock Stock. for half price for half price that's amazing what a deal oh do that oh just get don't, it don't just get it get it get it. it you need the 60 sheets a hundred percent and one last thing before we go back to rebecca oh yeah well i'm lying i've got about three things but i'm just <laughs> trying it's all the way over here My, i need an arm extension we have our trim me insert pads we love these we had to put these on the show because this is what's going to turn your card when you just pop that insert in the middle yeah it makes it just takes it to another level so first up we have our happy birthday and we have these in the gold and the silver so i'll show you them both they're exactly the same apart from one's gold and one's silver so we'll just have a flick through one so let's have a look at our silver here and see what beautiful sentiments we've got in there for you there's a beautiful range of typography something a little bit younger something a bit older happy, i can't see on the screen what we're reading sending you happy dancing confetti popping cake filled birthday wishes oh love love wow love. And then you've gone to something completely different with the typography isn't with this it? one. Isn't it so different? Make this day mark the beginning of a beautiful year filled with wonderful moments. Again, I think that would cover a wedding or an anniversary, Kat. It, it certainly would. So you can use it for lots of different things. And again, we love putting using these on the front of our cards as we well. We do, we do. Even though this message comes to you a little late, it the wishes brings for happiness good on any date Aww. so so cute so lovely so just look at all those different ones through there 
and you're also getting a sneak peek of what comes on the back that make our trim me insert pads so so special so this grid on the back here allows you to cut your insert down to anything from the original eight by eight size that it is you've just got a little lip on the outside down to anything as small as three by three and but even on the smallest one you're not going to be cutting away any of your message that's on the front but you've got your square ones your landscapes and i don't know if you can see now but you can see all the markings so you've got your seven by five so six easy by fours. you just follow those lines and it cuts them out perfectly for you so that's our birthdays we also have our special moment also in the gold and silver so let's do this one in the gold and we'll flip through some of these for you so we she said in the gold and then she's picked the wrong one up oh gorgeous they're both equally beautiful though so in memory of a life beautiful and deeply loved i'm just going to read the ones on the front in a minute i'm going to flick through and then read you some of the things yeah today is a good day for champagne oh well yeah just Always. i need that as a mantra never mind congratulations so something like that with that champagne cardstock that we showed you before. Yes, wouldn't that look beautiful? Die cut it out, stick it in the middle there and you've got a really easy card ready to go. And then this beautiful good look for your new journey and just beginnings. But just look, a mother's... A mother, oh, I love this one. I'm going to have to read this one. To the world you are a mother, to our family you are the world. So, oh my gosh, stop it. So gorgeous. So, so cute. Brighten your day and help you feel better in every way. And you've got ones for the dads in there as well. New journey. So on the front here, you just get a little snapshot of everything that you're going to get in the pad. And then last but not least, we have our celebrations. So these are for your general celebrations, your gold and your silver. Let me read some on the front. So we've got believe, achieve, succeed, amazing. Life has bought you a special gift. May that new chapter, may this new chapter of your life be full of wonderful surprises. Everything you see, I fall in love. Every time I see you, I fall in love. Just absolutely stunning. And these can be cut into as well, so you can take bits out. Oh yeah, definitely. Absolutely stunning and an essential to have in your kit there we go so we'll go through them so you want to know what you're going to pay for them don't you so on their own normally these are 9.99 for non-club members 9.49 if you're a member of the club and 8.99 if you are a diamond club member but we don't want to give you that if you buy them on uh, at two at a time, you get two for $14.98. Woohoo! Which, so that's, so you could either choose, if you were a gold person, you could choose two of the gold ones. Yes. Or you, like, I do a lot of birthdays, so I'll get the birthdays in the gold and the silver. So you can choose any combination of the two that you want and you will get them for $14.98. And each book contains 42 sheets. So again, that's that's your second one half price that's again. It. So that's for just under fifteen pounds, you're getting just under a hundred inserts. Wow, amazing, amazing, absolutely amazing. So quickly before we go on to Rebecca, let's see what you can do with all these wonderful things that we've shown you today. So Ooh. Rachel has taken this one here. I love and that. And she's just used the base just to make it into a simple stand-up card. So it's just, it's following the same concept, isn't it? But just slimlining it down a bit. Absolutely beautiful. And then Bex, I believe this is one of yours. It Pairing is. Pairing it with our duo design papers. It is. You can't go wrong with um, a matte print for a new no. home card, can but you? But that's it made up into an 8x8 card. Yeah. So it's taking something and just really, really stretching it out. And then here's one paired with that um, adorable scorable I pointed out before and a little bit of parchment over the top. And I love how you've cut this down. You've, you've not been afraid to chop into it and have it coming off the edge of your card to make this beautiful uh, eight by eight four it's like card. A, yeah, yeah, just that really nice slim line, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cute. 
and then again turning it into a stepper so these are really showing you how you can mix and match them with all those items that we've showed you in this section of the show just to make them into these beautiful beautiful uh, extensive designs and look at that you've not even got the house on this one oh wow so that's it so you can split them up and get even more use out of them yeah if you've got any little elements left use yeah. them like that 100 percent. yeah that looks amazing oh look at this and this one does give beach hut vibes doesn't it i know there's not a dedicated beach hut in there but oh i think you could, could you definitely could get away with that hut, yeah there. look at that so so cute love all that pop of primary colors there and then something completely different again just using the elements so cutting away some of the backing of the card to create these um, square windows and then just using the the little uh, top details as accents. Stunning. Gorgeous. And then last but not least, layering up all the details there again. So this one has been used, it's been chopped into create, to create those backgrounds. And then I think that's the back of the card there, isn't it? That's already got those details printed on, just layered up. So, so fun absolutely incredible makes there thank you team and just before we go back to rebecca we are going to run through our win it weekly one more time yes because after rebecca's next demonstration we are be going to we are going to be announcing the winner so this is your last chance to enter so we have our forever florals lavender luxury top collection for you we're going to have five winners today all you need to do is like, share and comment the answer to this question. Which animal cannot stick out its tongue? Is it A, a crocodile, B, a woodpecker or C, a zebra or oh, D, cat? A cat. I, no, me. I can't stick my tongue out. Oh, I've really? I've got a really, really short tongue. Glad, I bet you're all glad you know that information. But, <laughs> but I can just stick my own option in there. So we will be announcing the winner after Rebecca's next demonstration. We will, absolutely. Yeah, I've just been getting ahead just whilst you were um, showing through some of the products. We're gonna make a lovely step card um, with like a front step piece. Um, we're gonna go in with that fabulous, adorable, scoreable um, seasonal selection as well um, and mixing and matching the two because obviously this pack you know they're not necessarily designed to go together like some of our pattern packs where they're all a similar theme this is designed to give you complete universal sort of options however that doesn't mean to say that some of them don't work really well together because they absolutely do so i'm going to pair it with this one as well and i'll give you the measurements in just a moment once i've caught chopped this piece of cardstock in so we're going with a six by six um card first of all and then we're going to have two steps on this card not just one we're going to have two because we fancy like that um so we're going to go in with this piece as our six by six we've done this one uh i want to say an inch and three quarters yes we have with that um contrasting sort of pattern there and then finally for our little baby front step we've gone in at one and a quarter inches so that's kind of going to be how our layout's going to work so let's kind of get our card base made and then we can, again, just have some real, real, really good fun. Just matting and layering um, and just, just being really, really fun. So I think I want to do this at six and a half. That's going to work. Just trying to do a quick mental arithmetic. And then obviously we want six, same size as our card base. So let's get that out and then jump over to the scoreboard just going to grab my score tool there it is and then let's make this step so I'll move my base out of the way and grab this okay so I already know that I want to score at the six and then right then let's actually work from left to right Rebecca don't be so silly <laughs> right so we want an inch and a quarter and then we want two and a half so that's going to be an even step for us and then i need to add an inch and three quarters onto the next bit so an inch 1.25 1.5 okay yeah that's four and a quarter and then that should make all of our steps for us nice and easily so let's give those a nice good fold and a burnish 
just going to use the reverse of my score tool to get those nice and crisp and then just that last one there okay right so now let's kind of do our matting and layering we want to obviously stick that onto the front of our card or we can squeeze it in there whichever we kind of prefer might squeeze it on the front um, but let's get it matted and layered and then we can we can sort of cross that bridge when we come to it so um let's start doing that now with our double-sided tape it's like i say using these beautiful um patterns that we've got in the cardstock so going in with my six by six and i've left two notches as a gap so i quite like a nice sort of me and Anne marie were talking about matting and layering yesterday and we were saying depends on the project but for most of mine i like a really nice tight slimline kind of board around and we'll go in next with this one there's some very very definite answers coming in for the uh, win it weekly competition oh really then. i think everybody's figured it out yeah it's a really good one this week and then my final one here squeeze that on oh dear there we go and then pop that onto there okay great so like i said we've got double-sided tape on there so let's um let's do the steps and then we can pop that onto our card we are going to be going back to that beautiful home sweet home kit as well so do not worry and i'm just going to gently place that on my steps just being really careful of my score lines and then this one on the bottom doing it in this order as well does mean that the two um patterns that are the same are broken up by this middle one so it just gives that a really nice bit of contrast the colors work so well together don't, don't they? they you've got those little like really cute fun pastels in there it's so so much fun and then let's pop our um, piece onto the front now so i'm just going to go in with again some red tape absolutely perfect for our construction work and construction work. i sound like i'm a builder cat oh gee i just, <laughs> just a bit of construction work you know just casually building a card um, so let's pop that onto it now um if i can get the backing off there we go and just being really really precise at this point just lining it up to the bottom of our card so we don't have any overhang and then giving that a good press once it's in place now obviously the front of your card will be a bit heavier um so just give this top score line a nice good crease and all your other ones as well okay and then we can go in and pop our middle one and doing it this way like i say it will make our front a bit heavier so if you don't want that you can obviously tuck your tab into the inside of the card um, but this does also if you're one that likes to really make sure all your workings are absolutely 100 percent covered sticking it on the front means it will be gone once you pop your mat and layer on so i'm just gonna pop that down and then give that another good crease because i've gone right to the bottom of that score line okay perfect so that card's looking pretty snazzy now um so let's go back to our home sweet home kit just going to move that to one side and we're going to grab this little pink house i'm i'm using exactly the same sheets as what i had done before just to save a little bit of waste so we're going to go in with our little crafty hook i think that's going to be a door we can't do thank craft it's friday and this kit without doing the crafty hook no it's just would be a, a crime heaven. um so let's pop our door on the right hand side um we're going to pop our roof on as well it's gorgeous obviously we're going in with the sign that says the crafty hook um so we're just going to pop our roof just gently on there really really perfect 
Uh, take my crafty hut sign now. Pop that above the door. And a good morning to everybody joining us, us on Facebook and YouTube this morning. I'm so engrossed in Rebecca's demos that I'm forgetting to look at the comments, but I know you're all there. We are. And we, we are do grateful for you for joining us. Love to have your company. Perfect. I think as well, you've not hosted in a while, have you, Kat? It's nice to, um, there's, there's a big show today as well, isn't it? There is a lot to get through. Yeah, we've, we've we're getting there. I, you're doing amazing. Like, I think I'm, I'm having such a fun show. It's lovely to look back at some of our favourite products that go really well with this kit too. Um, right, I need my little table and chairs. I just need to put a little extra foam pad on here. And then we need to get our, our wreath on the door and our crafty goodies on the table. You know, you don't need a... Who needs a, an afternoon tea or a three course lunch? You want crafty goodies on that table. You certainly do. Um, so let's pop our little chair just next to there. <laughs> so cute. So cute. And then we'll get our little crafty basket just on there. Gorgeous. And let's finish it off with this little wreath. Okay. So I'm just going to get another little foam pad strip and meander it around this wreath. This is what the foam strips are perfect for, isn't it? Isn't it? And again, you just can find one for all of these little elements in your project right before we stick that onto our house i need oh i did bring it in i was very very lucky i said this to you guys last week I felt like i'd won the lottery last week and i got to do the wildlife blossom show and i did take the ribbon after <laughs> the show but how perfectly does it go I know, there's such a stunning just, selection of colors in there isn't it I was like, I have been trying to find a perfect mint ribbon for years. Yep, me <laughs> and too. That is just the ticket. It really is, isn't it? So the wildlife blossom ones, you get all those vintage tones, those pastels, those beautiful spring colours. Um, even if you've not treated yourself to that collection, this ribbon is just so good. Um, like I say, I was very, very lucky enough to keep it after the show. And I've just, I can't tell you how many times I've reached for it this week. So I'm just going in with our high tack tape because obviously I've already secured it to the base of my card so there's nowhere that I can kind of hide it and tuck it round. So I'm just going to just pop it straight onto the card with a bit of double sided tape and pray that I'm straight. Um, but it, it should be fine, especially once we get it on there. And then we'll pop our other piece on here, just like so. And then just going to snip off all our overhang now <laughs> she says I was going to say it's not playing I might just have to just go in the front there we go beautiful so let's get our crafty hut on there nice and loud and proud um, doesn't that really make it pop just adding that ribbon doesn't it hand? absolutely it's amazing isn't it how well it can kind of turn out we'll pop a little bow on as well yeah absolutely this this is a ribbon that you you need in your life so let's grab a little glue dot to pop that on so we've got a question on facebook saying um from roberta saying i want to ask a question about the glue when do i use the white glue for projects oh the white glue so is, that's our pva glue isn't it yeah absolutely it's got a, it's got the it takes the longest to dry yes um so it remains tacky for a really long time which isn't a bad thing especially if you've got items that need that time 
Um, I would use it on die cuts, especially yeah. words and things that are a little bit skinny to get your tape into. Yeah, you'll see me using my dabby dabby technique um, where I put a little bit out onto my craft mat on my surface, something that's easy cleanable. I get a little bit of sponge and then dab it in so it, it get a really thin layer and you can dab it over the back of anything that's really delicate yeah. or really hard to get glue on otherwise. It's also good if you're using your... Um, your gilding flakes. Yeah, gilding flakes like is that. perfect. Yeah, a hundred percent. So there's definitely, definitely a place for it. Oh yeah, a hundred. It also comes in the glue pen as well, which again is also great if you've got detailed like word dies and stuff that you want to get. Use the tip to get it around. Yeah, a hundred percent. I'm just gonna go in. I've got a foam pad stuck to the back of my card. How annoying. Right, I'm just going to go in and grab my other card front because you do get more than one and I'm just going to pop that on my step here. So this is the matching one but we're going to go with this beautiful other side. Like I say, really show off the fact that it's double sided absolutely everywhere on this kit. I'm going to pop that other house just on here and we're going to pop that on with some tape. We're not going to use foam pads for that. And then finally we're going to go in with some sentiments and finish this card off so we're going to go we're going to be a bit bougie and we're going to go in with three so we're going to go on with the matching ones we're going to have lovingly handmade for you to a lovely lady and have a beautiful birthday so these are just absolutely perfect so i'm going to take my button ones first of all and i'm going to just pop those kind of off hanging on my little pink polka dotty house so i'm going to just pop them maybe a little bit further down let's go here and i'm going to just pop them just overhanging on my card so i'm going to take this one first of all and again let's bring in that beautiful kind of gold foiling onto this house it's absolutely stunning and then i'm going to go in a little bit further down with my next one that should be absolutely fine on there perfect this is so cute it's coming very together. imaginative it really is coming together. And then we'll get a little foam pad for our sentiment. That's gonna go on our bottom step with some gemstones. And then that's gonna be this card all finished. So let's cut that a little bit shorter. There we go. And then pop that onto our sort of bottom step in the middle. Like I said, we've got all those turquoises, those mint greens just marrying up so so well with that pastel pink okay so gemstones i know which ones i want already so i'm going to hope they're here yes they are i'm going to go in with our gorgeous pink pearls just onto the bottom and as well i think we need to show off our trim me again because they are so so gorgeous um so let's go in with just little ascending order mini ones here Okay, so the one that I picked out with this one, I picked out a few. I was like, obviously I've made it a birthday card now, so I'm not going to put good luck on your new journey. Um, I might put congratulations, you deserve all the happiness in the world. So let's go for this one. I'm not too sure which one this one's from. I'm going to say it's celebrations, but I'm not 100%. So we go into the six by six. So we're just going to find the six by six measurement, which is here and just trim along that onto our trimmer. Lots so, of love for this card, Rebecca. Oh, thanks guys. It's been a definite um, love, this one. Um, all all of my favorite things. We've got my favorite colors and all the crafty goodies. So that's it trimmed, again, in a matter of absolute seconds. Um, so we're gonna put that in the inside of our card. So let's see if we can open that up move my card front out of the way it's obviously very heavy and then let's just pop three pieces of double-sided tape on there and get that all sorted Okay, so congratulations with that beautiful gold foiling to finish it off in style. And then 
let's get our steps up shall we gorgeous absolutely oh, stunning it's the colors that make it for me on this one it is beautiful thank Thanks. you so much rebecca but we can't show you one of our concept card kits without showing you some of our other recent ones that we know that you have loved but we so we have our beautiful savannah surprise and oh i had so much fun working These on were this so one so great so again exactly the same as all our concept kits comes with your full instructions about how to put it together savannah surprise i don't think there's a crocodile in the in here is it i don't think so no maybe didn't fit the brief so these are animals that can definitely stick the tongue out i'm not giving any away <laughs> Savannah Surprise Concept Card Kit. This will create for you 12 complete concept cards featuring four different designs and you three. And you can make three of each. Wow, absolutely stunning. There's quite a bit to this one. It makes a really, really pretty concept card. So let me show you the zebra. So it comes like this. You get this little wrap band around the front. You take this off. And then it opens up and you get this beautiful shutter effect <gasps> card and it I opens it. up to your main image there. I mean, how incredible it is that. It's fantastic, isn't it? Do you know what? I actually sent this when they came out in sort of November. I sent this one to my nephew and I may have passed off that I made like the whole thing like, <laughs> like the concept and everything. I was like, I'm not telling him that that's a card kit. He was only 10, so I was like, I can get away with it because they look so good. I'm like, I'm definitely passing that off. You do. So I'm just trying to remember the savannah animals that you get featured are your lion, your elephant, your zebra and your giraffe. Absolutely stunning. So this is $14.99 for non-club members, $14.24 for club members and 1349 for diamond club members and while we've got them out here that's how you make the original one but you can also make these beautiful other things like this so this is taking like an element from each or at least three of the sets we've got the elephant the zebra and the giraffes there and just pairing it again with some duo design pads this is the lion one this is how it's done originally but I, he's just so beautiful and majestic i'm going to have to show you him him as well oh yeah they're really handsome animals aren't they so look at this i just love doing this the feel of it as well it feels so smooth and so beautiful it's just magic absolutely gorgeous and things that i love with the concept card as well is once you've got them home you can be a bit cheeky and pinch the design and the shapes to use as templates to make your yep. own i didn't say that but that's what you do we won't tell anyone no this one here has been cut up in lots of different ways to make this beautiful slimline easel there look at that Ooh. with the gorgeous elephant beautiful greens there and then just stretching it out again to make this beautiful eight by eight card taking all the different elements showcasing the giraffes how absolutely gorgeous so so much fun so 13.49 for our diamond club members 14.24 for club members and 14.99 if you are not in the club but again why aren't you another one of our recent concept card kits is our wings of wonder oh this one again it's another firm, absolutely firm fame. stunning again this is going to make you 12 complete concept cards including envelopes already for your posting again this is another one that is just absolutely stunning so this one makes you 12 complete cards. How many different designs? You get six different designs in this one. So we'll have a quick look through them. Wait till you see what these do. These oh, beautiful love. little pop out folds. I love the colorways in here. They're so fresh and we've really got a modern twist on it get these lovely little verses about each individual bird. So we've got this gorgeous one with our puffins there. We've also got the stunning kingfisher. Oh, just look at all those beautiful. So you've, you're incorporating 
the front with all this beautiful gorgeous foil detail you've got a gorgeous piramage element you've got this gorgeous fold out and the aperture at the front just absolutely stunning isn't it amazing and they just absolutely just i don't know they just pull it out the bag and it's just amazing isn't it the design and team the is just incredible so we have got our turns here gorgeous our goldfinch same again then our woodpecker oh beautiful colors there absolutely stunning i do think there's another one in the set that we've not got then what we have got is some that are made differently so this shows that beautiful swallow. Oh, yeah, that's your other bird, isn't it? You swallow. So again, going in with the blues and your reds this time, just using those elements in different ways to create that card there. And then just toning it in with some adorable scorable the duo design pads to make this beautiful one there and just using the panels to make the card. This is $14.99 if you're a non-club member. Club members, you are paying $14.24 and Diamond Club members, $13.49. Absolutely stunning. And we can't show you those contact card kits without going through this one one more time. Now, I did try and start sorting this out, but then I got lost halfway through. So let's see where we're up to. This is the one that we are bringing to you brand new today. It is our home sweet home concept card kit. It's going to make you 12 cards, features six designs and you get two of each. But like we said before, there's six designs if you make them as is. Yeah. You can easily make every single one completely different and end up with 12 designs. It's completely how you want to put them together. So for this again we have 14.99 non-club members club members 14.24 and our diamond club members 13.49 absolutely stunning and and we've got some other great bits that we think work so well for you this stamp has been picked out and i think you can see why just read that there says home is where the best memories are made oh I love it that. is a full stamp card it's like a stamp card concept yeah where it's going to stamp to like a six by four inch card for you you can just keep it very plain and simple black on white or you can ombre up the background make your own backgrounds this would be something where you could if you've got a bigger size card like a seven by seven you yep. could stamp this one side and then build your house up at the side of it absolutely works perfectly with them this is a a6 stamp set on its own it is eight pound if you are a non-club member club members it is 760 Seven twenty for our Diamond Club members, but I believe our A6 stamp sets are available for any three or two. Yay! So that would also include what we've got for you here, which is our beautiful inspirational quotes collection. Yeah, so these are like the same family of stamps. So these aren't are they? the same family. So these are our stamper cards. And you can see these beautiful, big, large style cards. I mean, look at that. Something amazing is going to happen today. Now, that's a message out there for everybody, isn't it? Yeah, If you're definitely. watching today, take this on board. So this bundle, you're going to get all of these, these six stamps here, is £30 if you're a non-club member. Club members are paying £28.50 and our Diamond Club members are paying £27. And this is something that is going to be an essential in your collection. Again, you can snip into these. I mean, you could just take out that word amazing, yeah, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. And use that on so many projects just on its own. You're also going to do, do what you love, love what you do. Another oh. saying I absolutely love. Oh, again, that would so work for, with the Crafty Hut one as well, wouldn't it? It would. We have got friends make the world a whole lot brighter I only got, oh no the high, i've got two left I over did. here 
so we've done that one like life is a wonderful thing you like sorry life is full of wonderful things you like i need to get some glasses i think absolutely stunning the beautiful flower details to color in around the edge there and be the hero of your own story i love that one i love this one as well i um i stamped this with the uh, and heat embossed onto the glitter card once and it was absolutely stunning wow i love these big chunky letters here you can actually go and cut them out with a craft knife make it yep. like a shake card definitely absolutely stunning just checking yeah so all these these are your six if you want to get them as the bundle, £30, £28.50, £27 if you are a diamond member. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, the bit I know you've all been waiting patiently before, before we go back to Rebecca, is our Win It Weekly winners. Yay! So our question was, which animal cannot stick out its tongue? Just let me get my little bit of information here. Can I tell them the answer? I think so. Our answer was the crocodile. It says here, crocodiles have a membrane that holds their tongue in place on the roof of their mouth so it doesn't move, which constantly makes it impossible for them to stick the tongue out. I'm trying to figure out how that would work. How, if, uh, if it's stuck to the top of your mouth, how do you swallow? I know. The weird creatures, are I know they? you can have a membrane at the bottom that holds your tongue down that can be really far forward that stops you because that's like what I've got that stops them sticking. Right, okay, never mind. Too much thinking about uh, crocodiles' tongues there. Yeah. But do we have some winners, most importantly? Congratulations to... Oh, Nicola Robotham. I'm not great with names. Daryl Prescott, Lynn Green, Linda Buckle, and Annette Hopgood. Oh, you are the fabulous winners of our Forever Florals Lavender this week. Yay! Congratulations. What a prize. What a prize. So if you can just email into Unky Dory that you've won and we will uh, get you sorted yeah, get with that your sorted. prizes. We'll get it in the post. Yeah. And don't forget, it is Friday, so we have another chance for win to win today. But before that, we are going back to Rebecca for one more demonstration. Yes, we are going to do that stamp, that inspirational quote stamp. Home Yay! is where the best memories are made. Doing all home themed cards today. So I'm going to go in. This is not my stamping press, by the way. Can I just say it's absolutely trashed? <laughs> um, just before anyone thinks it is right let's get some tape on this actually let's see if i've got some in my box uh, and we'll just secure it down because it's quite a big piece of, it's quite a big stamp okay perfect right let's get this on and we are going to do that ombre effect i think it's going to look really really nice yes so the colours that I'm going to pick out are going to be sort of oranges. Um, so let's go in with tiger orange. Uh, I kind of want letterbox red and red pastel. Not tried these, we're going rogue guys. So hopefully this should be quite a nice ombre effect. So I'm just dabbing my ink pads around. And then I'm going in next with my, oh yeah. Obviously you can use our ready-made ombre ink pads, which are fabulous. Um, or you can create your sort of own combinations here. So this one's a little bit more um, like burgundy on the bottom there. This is our um, red pastel. But it just does have that little bit of hint on there as well so let's grab that one then we could maybe go in with our earth red at this point just on the bottom cool make our orange a bit stronger and then that should be really good to stamp out she says everyone cross the fingers guys <laughs> say a little prayer i know right 
always does require a certain amount of bravery when you're stamping, doesn't it? Right, let's see. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, okay, great. So I'm just gonna go in with another little touch of orange. It's not maybe the strongest ombre combination, but I'm pretty happy with it. Like I say, you could use some more like, um, getting that earth red at the bottom really, really well. So I'm quite pleased with that. So we're gonna go in with one more little press and then we can just pop this onto our card. We're gonna finish with something nice and simple. Perfect for stampers that maybe aren't too confident or, you know, just starting out. Oh, that's even better. Yes, that's just made that a little bit stronger. And then you're going to get that gorgeous ombre. So we're going to pop that to one side whilst we build up our background. And then we're just going to matte and layer it and pop it onto a card. So let's just pop that to one side just for now. And then we're going to go in with some different inks, but from the same sort of kind of family. And we're going to do a little, I was whipping this up before the show. We're going to do a little um, kind of, I'm hoping this is going to turn out like bricks. So I've got <laughs> my low tack tape. Um, and the great thing about it is we do loads of different sizes. So I used one a little bit chunkier and it had massive white gaps. So I was like, someone needs to sack that brick layer. So we've gone in a little bit skinnier for this one. And we're going to go in with roasted pumpkin, first of all which doesn't really sound like a brick colour, but actually I inked it out and it does look really fabulous. So um, hopefully you guys can at home can trust the process. See how bricky does that look? It does. Um, so I'm just gonna just take my tool and gently sponge around my bricks. Are you gonna be taking this tape off on air? Uh, yeah. Wow, you're brave. I know. <laughs> I'd have it stuck in my hair, stuck to my fingers. Don't. I, I'd be sticking my ink pads to it. Don't. I honestly <laughs> don't say this at this time on the last demo. Um, I didn't have time to whip up another one this morning, so I thought we were going to have to go in rogue. Um, like I say, the one that I did do this morning, the tape was a bit too thick, so just going just gonna to hope and pray. Um, so again, just nicely sponging round. Got a nice juicy ink pad, so it's absolutely laying that colour down perfectly. And then we're just going to blend in a little bit of gingerbread as well, just to, again to give it that really kind of you know, because bricks are kind of weathered, aren't they? There's places that are a bit deeper and darker. Oh yeah, they're not one solid colour, are they? They're no, a... they're a little bit of a mixture. So we're yeah. going to just go in and just do a little bit of shading just round our edges as well. Again, just to give that sort of weathered finish. Probably go in on the other side as well. just where the sun has been. Okay, perfect. And then let's switch over now. So we'll switch from our roasted pumpkin to our gingerbread, which is a little bit deeper and darker. Nice and gently, just again, just going on the edges of these bricks. Really make it pop. Yeah, I think so. It's gonna be a fabulous effect when you finish. I hope so. Just go again a bit deeper on some of these. Nice and gently. I'm not putting, you know, too much down. Have you got red brick on your house? I've got some red brick on my I house. I do actually, yeah. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Um, so, so homely. And it's just the perfect background for new home cards. So we're gonna just gently take these pieces of tape off. Ooh. It's starting to come together already. It's people asking if you're making this card for Natalie, not that she's getting a new home, but because her favourite colour is orange. Oh, I think Natalie would love this card. Yeah, her favourite colour is orange. There is a specific tangerine one as well, which I should have used. <laughs> 
Though tangerine, it, it's actually banned in our house. What, I, the fruit or the colour? No, no, the, the colour. Because, you know, we support the rival team, don't yeah. we? So, uh, it's beautiful though. I love it. So, just taking this gently off. Thanks guys for bearing with me, but it is coming together really nicely. Um, so what you do, you just find in the pieces that you've laid on top yeah. first and taking them off rather than trying to do it in a And with a bricks solid as piece. well, they're laid out kind of, not zigzaggy, but they're not like a check, are no, no. they? They are laid out like slightly offset to each other. Oh, do you know what? I'm quite happy with this. So we just need to take these um horizontal pieces off now okay and it's probably not the best ever brick background that you've ever seen but I it's know, quite but look at that as soon as you take that masking tape off it looks stunning it's quite nice and it was quite easy to do so i would say it's a perfect one um to start with so just gonna again just gently nice and gently because i don't want to rip the card stock And then we're just going to pop this quote just on the top. Okay, these pieces I can be a bit braver with. There we go. Oh, Stunning. yeah, I'm happy with that. Gorgeous. Okay, so let's chop out our little um, home is where the memories are. And then let's just kind of see where we're at with this i'm hoping it'll be like a sort of like you say it's sort of six by four isn't it and then we're just going to trim a little mill or two off there oh yes just gonna again just gently shade around it just so it doesn't maybe look quite as stark so i'm going to go in with my rose pumpkin and just again just sponge these edges so just a nice gentle dab don't want to start blending in these colours too strongly. See, I've already picked up a sneaky bit of red there. So just nice and gently with this. Lots of people wanting to try this technique out at home. Oh, you should, guys. It's so fun. And like I say, we do the oh, all the hard work. If you, obviously, you can experiment with your brick colours, but if you just want that one, it is just two colours, roasted pumpkin and your gingerbread, and it yeah. is just perfect. Okay. It'd be great for making like chimneys and stuff with as well, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, 100%. <gasps> Kat, that's such a good idea. Oh, I'm loving this. Let's get some foam pads and some glue on. So I'm just gonna just squeeze up here just cause I've got a bit of ink down here. I don't want it to smudge whilst I put my foam pads on. I know, I thought I was the queen of the messy inky mat, but you, you, you're going for I'm my crown I'm taking the crown today. today, yeah, I am. Oh, left one on. So we've got that. And then have we got a five by seven card blank in here? Uh, we'll have to chop one up. Again, though, I would be definitely hanging some ribbon and having that as like a, a house sign. <gasps> so um, cute. I don't think. Oh, no, that orange might work. See, this is where your wildlife blossoms just comes in for everything. <laughs> and then if I secure a little piece of cardstock um, on the back, it should cover up my gluing, gluing that down. So, uh, yeah, let's go with that. So let's go with some tape. I really am going rogue, I'm making a little hanging sign. Um, we'll just secure that down. Oh, it's like so nice so. to make something different. It is, isn't it? Absolutely. And obviously if you want to, it'd be a great card or like, you know, if you want to pass it on, they could turn it into a card. It's absolutely up to you. Stuck, I'm stuck, Kat. Why are you stuck? I'm, I've got this horrible little bit of tape stuck. There we go, Aww. there we go. So you could pop it onto a card front with some Velcro so they could take it off the card front and then use it as a decoration. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Card and gift in one. Oh, 100%. Oh. This is why we work so well together, Kat. 
you're on my page. Okay, take the tape, uh, take the backing off this tape. There's no real need to, but obviously that backing, it does resist um, when you put other things on, other layers. Right, so let's pop that on there. And then let's show it off, shall we? Super yes, sweet please. and simple. Little new home project on a little budget. Um, and then that's the, you've got that gorgeous hanging sign that you could pop up in your home. You've got that little ribbon there as well. And it just hangs up like that. Can I get the um, big camera on, Gem? Uh, this one. There we go. Yeah, absolutely. Just so you can stunning. see it hanging up. Home is where the best memories are made. I love that quote. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Three absolutely stunning demonstrations today. And I know Facebook and YouTube all agree. But it's Friday and we know this is the bit you've all been waiting for. We have... The wheel! Spin the wheel! Are we ready? We are. Do we ask the question first or yeah, after? Ask the question first. Right, okay. So to keep on theme with our uh, Win It Weekly, we want to know if you have any weird or wacky animal facts you would like to share with oh. us. If you get commenting now, we'll spin the wheel and a winder, a winder, a winner will be picked at random. You got That's what I was doing. I was put, I was putting winner and random together. We'll be picked at random in a minute or two. So let's see what you could win. Which one's what that we on? got? We are on. Oh, we're on watercolor pencils. Watercolor yes! pencils. Yes, what oh, a prize! Wow. You won't get my set because there's nothing left of them, <laughs> and I've been putting them to even more use this week. Um, what a prize! What a prize! Amazing. So, get animal commenting. facts, please. Weird and wonderful animal facts. Do you have any? The only one that I can possibly think of, I'm sure I do have more, it's when you're on the spot, isn't it? Yes. I want to say that humans, and I want to say also elephants, are the only animals to really use like smiles as a concept. Oh. Yeah, like no other animals like smile at each other like humans. And I like to say, I want to say elephants. That's really cute. I know. So, I, yeah. I've seen cows smile, just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think, well, I, I, I will know loads, but it, like you said, when you're on the spot, it's thingy. Cows have four stomachs. Oh, they do. We know that one. Um, okay, let's see what people put in. I watched a program last night, Kat, called something like This Farming Life, and I thought <gasps> you'd love it. Oh, you need wow. to watch it. So, what do we have? Uh, somebody's put, why does a Manx cat have no tail? I don't, you need to tell us. We need to know. We do, we A do. giraffe's neck is too short to reach the ground. They also run up to about 30 miles, 35 miles an they, hour. I've heard wow. that they're quite quick animals. I what? have heard this. <laughs> I'm gonna let you try your guess at this one, Bex. <laughs> the lightest animal in the world is a mere two centimeters long, but what is it? Two centimeters. And it's the loudest. Oh. <laughs> Something that you you do you like to eat them. Okay. Seafood. Oh, a prawn? Yeah. No. How strange. <laughs> Polar bear skin is black. I've heard that too. Yeah. yeah. Um Greyhounds can't sit. Shut the mind. Not convinced with that one. Um, oh, people have got lots of personal ones as well. My my fish don't like me <laughs> sitting by the tank when I feed them. <laughs> wow. Elephants will bury and mourn their dead. Oh, I have heard that too. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got any, Gemma, before we announce the winner? Uh, I thought you'd have got one ready for the show, Gem. <laughs> I've just seen another fab one. Did you know that bearded dragons have a third eye on the top of their head? What? Oh my, my brother had a bearded dragon. I did not know that. I'm sure some people are just making these up. You I think they're having those on. Is believe... it April the 1st? I know. Oh, 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 we jumped a bit ahead. Have you got a winner for us, Gemma? And the winner is... It's Leanne Hellinger on YouTube. 
Leanne Helinga. Yeah. Wow! I did not know that hummingbirds could fly upside down. Well done, Leanne. Well done, that is a fabulous fact. And you are the now proud owner of a set of our beautiful watercolour pencils. So as before, if you email into the office, don't put your address details or anything in the comments, email into the office and we will get that sorted and sent out to you. So next up is TV schedule. Pauline will be on Hobby Maker on Sunday at 2, 3 and 4. She's got a long stint there, Ooh, hasn't she? that is she? a good stint. At 2, Pauline will be launching our brand new deluxe craft card. <gasps> Beautiful. Exciting. At 3, flicking through some of our hunky-dory top picks. Ooh, I wonder what that's going to be. I know. And at four, she'll be taking a look at our cosy and cute home sweet home that you've had the pleasure of viewing today. And then next up on Hunky Dory TV on Monday, is there such a thing as too much paper craft? No. Nope. Not when it's Hunky Dory, there isn't. Make way for three new deluxe craft pads bright and early on Monday morning at 10 a.m. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you've enjoyed the show. I certainly have. Have you, Rebecca? Definitely. A hundred percent, guys. It's been so fun. It's been a good Friday, hasn't it? Have a fabulous weekend and we will see you next week. Mm -hmm.